what would you do if you're Michael Maguire? You're looking to establish culture. It's the timing of it. You're looking to establish culture. You're putting a boom, marker in the sand. I have arrived. This is the way we're going to do things. And you have to make a decision on one of your biggest names, first day in the job. What are you going to well, do? Well, he wouldn't even... He, <clears throat> what would make it hard for Michael Maguire? But he... He probably doesn't know his Ramiam at all. Good like, point. Good point. Doesn't, doesn't know, know him. Really. And, no. I, and, and, and we don't know him. I, I don't know what Ezra Mam is like every week, every day, what sort of person he is. Um, obviously, he's a risk taker. Um, but yeah, I, 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 that makes it very difficult for Michael Maguire. Well, I, 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 look, I... Have we got Lee Hedgy Pentelis on this week? We've got so much. We've got a backlog of stuff. No, we don't have Lee. <laughs> Jeez, I think we need to, We need no. some help here because um, if everything that has been so, alleged is proven correct, mm. it might be taken out of the Broncos' hands. I mean, this is this is bloody serious. These, these, these charges. Well, if you, if, Andrew, if you were a passenger in the car that, that had the head on, and you yep. you crashed into it. So if my if I had my family yep. were in the car, family in the car, yeah, yeah, and and they crashed into someone without a license, drugs, mm. and whatever else, yes, and, and and we don't know about speed or anything. But so without license and prove and and yep. tested positive to drugs, yeah. Well, what, what would hypothetically you do? speak, well, if you're the Uber driver, that's his profession. You've just taken yeah. him off the road. You've taken his job. You've taken his livelihood. Um, okay, I'll answer that question, given that it is a hypothetical at this point, because they aren't. But hypothetically speaking, I'd want that person in jail. And I, I make no apologies for saying that. I, I'd want them taken off the road uh, as a as a minimum, of course. But then you'd want them. You'd want some 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 sort of punishment. Now, we tie that into rugby league. Um, it's a big story. So, give give us your thoughts just around what Michael Maguire should do, because it is the timing of it. Michael Maguire, the hard taskmaster. You're trying to win over the crew, the team. This bloke, I, I, I do mm. know Ezra Man a little bit, Brandy, and I and I've and I first interviewed him when he wasn't hadn't even played a first grade game. Yeah, because he came off the back of, I think his first appearance in the host plus cup was a hat trick on debut. Yeah. He's always been an effervescent character. Well, well, you know, you know Tito Taruva well at Penrith. Well, he's a bit yep. like that. He is a real yep. live wire. He's a happy mm-hmm. bloke. He turns up happy to training every day. He, he, he'd be good to have around the camp. But in that, if you don't know him, well, desire to be the, the professional athlete. And now these yeah. other things, it seems to me a lot of money for a young bloke who is now, I don't know, living rock star lifestyle rather than rugby league player. Yeah. Well, that know. is the... And, and that has been the... Yeah, that's something that's been spoken about the Broncos um, for years. Like, well, you can go back 20 years. Like, yeah. you know, the Broncos, big, big club, won, you know, until Redcliffe came in last year. That was it. That's all they had. The NRL club, the Broncos, the biggest thing in town. And if the team's playing well, they are rock stars. You know, it takes, yeah. some, it takes some pretty good senior players to make sure that that all stays... Uh, in control. Yeah. Darren Lockyer on the board at the Broncos, um, their CEO, they, they will have, they, they will, they're the ones that are going to be dealing with what happens to Ezra Mam. I, I, I think Michael Maguire, because of he's only just arrived and wouldn't know him that well, I'm, I'm thinking Michael yeah. Maguire might be fighting to keep Ezra Mam there. I agree. Ezra Mam. <sighs> Should we? I mean, there's Ezra Mam, full stop. Then there's the Broncos, dot, dot, dot. Because Wednesday is going to be D Day for the Brisbane Broncos playing group. And therefore, the Brisbane Broncos as an organisation and what might happen next. So, Ezra Mam's contract, which is worth about $4 million, is now at risk of being terminated, involved, as you probably know by now, in that car crash in Brizzy on Friday night. So there's a whole lot of stuff to play out here with the integrity unit, a two-car collision with an Uber driver. All the vision was there for you to see on the news. And Broncos power brokers reportedly had the power to tear up that contract. But it 
looks as though it's unlikely that it'll be shown the door. So a fine and suspension could be on the card, or could it? Because Michael Maguire rolls into town officially on Wednesday. And that will be the day that you would imagine that the Broncos' next chapter begins. I mean, it has to anyway, just by virtue of the fact that they've got a new coach. But think of what's been happening for the Bronx all the way to this point. What's going on at that place? Someone needs to come in there and square these guys up. And you know who that someone is? Michael Maguire. So what does Madge do on Wednesday? Does he come in with a big stick? Or does he come in softly, softly? Now, I think we all know that Michael Maguire is not going to take any prisoners. But there seems to be, from the outside looking in, and a lot of people have been saying it, there's a big head problem. And the Broncos need to be put back in their place. And you would imagine that Michael Maguire will say, these are the standards that I expect. Not the standards that the Brisbane Broncos have expected. These are the standards that I expect. And if you ain't going to be part of it, there's the door. And that appears to be the only way around what's unfolding at the Broncos. Because it's not just unfolding, it's unravelling. And players like Ezra Mam in this position need to be sorted out. So, if you're Michael McGuire, you ride into town. Do you sit down and what do you say first up? You get the playing group in. What do you talk about? Does he talk about the history that they're about to create? Does he talk about the standards that they're about to set? Does he talk to about what the Broncos represent and what they need to represent? Does he talk about what kind of footy team they need to be to win a premiership to get back into the finals? Or does he first and foremost get the players to have a really good hard look at themselves and answer the question, do you want to be here under my watch? Because my watch is different. Over the course of the weekend, in fact, Friday afternoon, Ezra Mann was involved in a very serious car accident. He was taken to hospital after the Ford Ranger that he was driving struck a Toyota Camry. It was an Uber, and it was carrying three people, including a young girl, just after five. Have you seen the CCTV video of this? It is very clear that Ezra's car drives uh, or swerves to the other side of the roll. It obviously has been uh, gone to the integrity unit. It's gone to the Brisbane Broncos as well. Um, He has apparently failed a roadside drug test positive results, and now they're waiting on a follow-up to that. That can take a number of weeks. We know that from the Josh Addo Carr case, that that can take a number of weeks. Apparently, he's been in contact with the Broncos. They are in damage control right now because this is one of their bright young stars, one of their brightest. And Michael Maguire now starts the job on Wednesday of picking up the pieces of the Brisbane Broncos that it feels like in the space of one off-season have fallen apart. So... I would love to know from Broncos fans, and I know there are a lot of you listening right now, what do you feel is an appropriate way forward for your club? What do you want to see? Here's the other part. What do you think you will see? Because let's face it, there's a couple of rules, right? One rule for some and a rule for the superstar playmaker in a spine position. And and we have to be clear about that. So... Michael Maguire and the Brisbane Broncos, what do you want to see, people? Personally, I reckon it looks something like this. Eight-week suspension from the NRL, $100,000 fine, 50000 of that suspended, uh, and all sorts of community uh, involvement attached with that as well. So uh, does that feel like it's enough? He is so fortunate that no one was more seriously hurt or indeed killed in this accident, including himself, but most particularly the three people in the Uber. Uh, And and he was unlicensed and has failed a roadside drug test. This is as serious as it gets, and the NRL Integrity Unit will be watching very closely. Remember, the Broncos will have the opportunity to hand down a punishment first. The NRL Integrity Unit will then look at it deem it whether it's appropriate or not and move forward from that. But this is incredibly serious and has the potential to derail the Brisbane Broncos for months to come. So Michael Maguire gets up there Wednesday.
Walk straight into it. What do you want to see, Broncos fans? Let us know.